The fall semester is looking a little different for some Michigan schools that are now in the process of getting rid of their Native American themed mascot and imagery. Indigenous communities have called their use offensive and long stood in opposition. In Michigan, there are roughly 50 schools with Native American mascots, with at least four in Wayne County. Seven Action News reporter Amira David spoke with two women who are on a decades long mission about why it's time to rid Michigan of native themed mascots once and for all. Another day. For these indigenous women, some days are filled with wins, but it has always been along the road less traveled. Between these two great grandmothers is 80 years of activism and hundreds of road trips to schools in every part of the state. We show up because we're ready to say, no, we're done. You're not going to hurt one more child. The main mission for Yvonne Moore and Linda Cypert Kilborn fight to eradicate racism hiding in plain sight. We did paw paw and then we got rid of the fountain of the pioneers. The battle against school team nicknames and mascots, those as egregious as racial slurs like the Redskins, known as the R word, to insensitive names like the Chiefs, Warriors, and Indians. This is Julie Dye, introducing herself and in her indigenous Potawatomi, a native rights advocate today. As a child, she was negatively impacted by mascot names. I was born in Pawpaw, Michigan, uh, which was uh, used to be uh, the R an R word school. I had to endure a lot of uh, culture shaming and ridicule. And she has never been alone. A host of psychological research proving its adverse effects. You know, it creates uh, depression and instances of self harm and substance abuse. But standing up against what many Americans consider tradition has not been easy. Communities and schools and alumni mostly get so attached to this part of their childhood that they, they just don't want to let it go. Making voices like Linda and Yvonne's all the more unpopular. Did you get backlash for taking the position you took? Yes, we did. Yes, we we received death threats. I've had to have the police, the state police, literally escort me into and out of a board meeting. How difficult is that knowing that you're opening yourself up to that kind of visceral response from people? If I don't stand up, who will? Since 1970, roughly two thirds of native themed mascots and imagery logos have been retired, but nearly 2000 nationwide still remain. In Michigan, there are roughly 50 with at least four in Wayne County. Plymouth Canton is the Chiefs. Along with the Woodhaven Warriors, the Ecorse Red Raiders and New Boston Huron Chiefs. Some community members have pushed back, saying a mascot tribute should be considered an honor. What do you say to that? How, how does that make you feel? Who has the right to tell another person how they should be honored? There's other ways to honor Native American people, and it's not in sports. Indians are people, not mascots. And until phrases like these no longer need to be said or worn, the mission for these justice seekers continues. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.